Alrighty, and hi everybody, and welcome to another speed draw. So, I've been busy again, so and obviously, as if you've been watching my recent videos, I did a huge fig review because it was two figures and really like detailed figures. Honestly, that video ended up being a lot because of how much footage there was and cutting it down to just the 20-ish minutes. Um, it could have been way longer, but I was not gonna do that. I try to keep the reviews to like about 10 minutes each. So, you know, 20 minutes for two figures is pretty good for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is another recent art piece that I made for Anime Superstar, or it's Superstar Anime. It just sounds better to say Anime Superstar, but whatever. You know what I mean. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I actually did most of the process on this piece on Twitch. It was a lot of fun. A lot of you guys actually came and watched and even gave suggestions. There's some pieces in this that like I got assistance from in the audience where they're like, I think you should try this. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I did it and it was a lot of fun. The idea behind this, I wanted to do Eddie from Stranger Things because he was great. He was a fantastic character. Stranger Things season four was really good. If you keep up with Stranger Things, I liked it a lot. And I wanted to still kind of have like the normal Eddie pose, the one that everyone loves to do, him with the guitar or whatever. But I also wanted it to be kind of reminiscent of the D&D &D campaign they show him doing at the beginning of the show because he is the dungeon master for his group and he was Vecna, quote unquote, for that campaign for a little bit. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to have him, but with the like Vecna symbolism and just some other symbolism for Eddie. So a lot of like the reds and stuff obviously came from Vecna, the weird little vines on the ground from Vecna. And I wanted to have him fighting Erica and Dustin because they were the last two characters in the D&D campaign that were fighting Vecna at the end. Also, Erica and Dustin are like two of my top favorites. I like Erica a lot, what could I say? Um, so it kind of just was a lot of things that I liked. Uh, it was it really truly, this one was a lot of fun. Um, would have liked to maybe have sold more prints at the con, but that's okay. You, you, you never know what you're gonna sell. And it was so fun working on this and like so gratifying, like having it finalized. I really, really like this. As per usual, there's probably some stuff I could nitpick. Like I think some of the area on the ground in front of him probably could have had more vines or maybe like more of that shiny wet look that you see in Venice realm or whatever. But I'm still really happy. Like I, it was just so much fun. Like uh, all the little elements that I added, like he's got the chair behind him. I wanted it to still look like the grandma chair that he was sitting on at the beginning but I wanted to make it kind of look more like a throne, you know? I gave him horns because he does the hellfire like devil thing or whatever, and it just seemed fitting for him to have the horns on top since he's playing his guitar and he can't do it. Um, the dice in the background to just give like that cool evil boss villain effect, but also to have like the D20, but having that symbol behind him, the D20, and still tying it together with the D and D world, so to speak. So, and I actually did research on this because for characters like Erica and Dustin, their actual in-game characters have descriptions in some places. Uh, Erica's had a, a full description because she joined. She said what she was. Easy, cool. She's half elf, rogue with her weapon whatever it was called I forget what it is and then Dustin didn't have any like actual descriptions he's supposed to be a bard dwarf and I, there really wasn't anything to make it look more dwarven I just tried to make his ears a little bit bigger but I don't think that fully translated but whatever he there's really only, I'm not gonna have him hold like a freaking loot or in the picture in the show there's a drawing that Will made of Dustin as the bard and he's holding alcohol and I was like yeah, that's great and all. Maybe I'm not going to put that in mind. You know? <laughs> so um, it was a lot of fun. I, I really liked it, how it came out. It was a lot of work. I used some techniques that I learned from other art pieces in it, and it was just fun. 
I'm just proud of it. What can I say? So you get to watch me work on it. You've got, you've already gotten to work, watch me work on it for however many minutes now. So, um, oh, and then the guitar. This is my fate. This was so great. Uh, Fuyak was there with me. Shout out. Uh, he comes to a lot of the streams, but he was there for most of this process. And I'm really happy with how the guitar comes out. I found one of the weird tools in manga studio that worked really well it was like a rock effect or something and it did a perfect job of just quickly allowing me to do the marble effect that he has on his guitar um it's probably not super exact but like it was it saved so much time and i, I really like how the guitar comes out i spent a lot of time on it to be fair so i would hope so maybe a little too much time on it but i did really like the way it came out but yeah um, also, I still have prints of these available. I also made stickers for him. He later gets a tail. The tail didn't make it onto the stickers because I was doing things on a last minute time crunch, like a little bit too last minute. Um, but if anybody's interested, you can message me on any of my Instagrams. I have links in my description. At Esnon is like my main one where I post all my art and stuff. But if you do message me there, I can work something out. I've got prints. I've got lots of prints too. So even if you like this one or maybe you just want to see other ones that I have, I've got so many available that can be purchased. And I got a couple stickers. My Spy Family one, if you haven't seen that, you should go and watch it. But I did a speed draw for my Spy Family art. I've got plenty of stuff for that too. I really need to make a post, but hey, you know what? I can always say I'm going to do something. Now, whether I'm going to do it or not is a totally different story, especially when you just kind of feel bogged down by the world. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff I got to say about the art. Um, my house apparently wanted to make noise and an appearance as well. We got a noisy house. We're going to look at it, but e who cares? <laughs> um, well, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of things to say. These are, as everyone knows at this point, maybe my more laid back videos. Because sometimes I just don't really know fully what to say. Uh, usually I'll talk about TV. And I haven't done that the last few that I've done for these. So it feels kind of odd to do it. You know? uh, especially when I'm all my watch history stuff is like all over the place right now. Because I've been so busy and whatnot whatever obviously i mentioned it i'm very excited i have another figure that i have laid up i have my mary satome figure from kakaguri Guri? i always have heart trouble saying that fastly but um i'm really excited just a super nice figure and it's gonna be a lot of fun it is going to probably be a bit before it releases, but I don't think it's going to be as long as a wait as like how I had for the two Zombieland figures because those ones were, first of all, it was two of them. Second of all, they're big. They're huge. So, and I also have, I don't know if you guys would be interested. Um, I did receive, I got the Trixie Mattel like doll. It's like a Barbie doll, but not Barbie because Barbie's not going to do that. <laughs> um, I got the Trixie Mattel doll from Integrity Toys. I'm pretty excited. I haven't fully opened it up yet, but I've seen some pictures and stuff go around and it is a really nice doll. She comes with a lot of stuff and I'm sac sacrilegious. I'm going to be opening a doll out of its super nice box, but at the same time, I don't care. I'm going to do it and I didn't have enough money to buy two of them and just hold on to one because I don't have that kind of money. So, and... I still have the Nanami pop-up parade in the box. Poor man has been abandoned. He is sitting sad and alone inside of his box. But I've had a lot of better figures come in since he came. So I'm not like in a super rush. It's a pop-up parade. So like, ugh, no one's really rushing to see him. You've seen one, you've seen them all. There's some nice stuff on some that one will have that others won't but they all have the same ugly bases so like you know not really rushing I also still don't have real shelves to put any of my figures on so my current shelf that I've been using is getting a little bit crowded anyways so eh. I also because <laughs> I've been just collecting stuff because I've had so much stuff happen within like the short span of time 
I do have two. I got a full set of these little Gacha Zombie Land series. I think in Japan they probably had like actual Gacha Pond, like where you could put the coin in and get them. But then they did have it where people could buy sets of them online. Someone was reselling one of the sets that they had. Uh, for all the girls in both the regular and zombie form plus a Kodoro so I snatched it up because I like zombie land I like all the characters and it, whenever you try to buy them it's always separated by girls and not by like zombie forms and normal forms which that's really annoying I didn't like that I, there was no way for me to choose if I wanted to get just the normal set of girls or just the zombie set of girls I had to get all of them to get all of them <laughs> uh, so I have a lot of those I think what I'm planning on doing I think they just be more fun because they're not anything like super intense I think that could be a fun live to do sometime I don't know when I'm gonna do it what's new I never plan anything because I don't have that kind of time but I do think opening those up live would be a lot of fun because it'd be like what is that 14 15 of those little gotcha pond things to open up maybe put together and share the experience with you Woo! so but you know let me know if you guys have any opinions thoughts suggestions questions comments um anything let me know and uh yeah we're getting close to the end here um so if you liked what you saw, uh, of course, I really appreciate you sticking basically to the end here. I do try to make videos every week or at least pretty often, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not, or at least it's more than once a month. I do try to do that at the very minimum. There's all these other places you guys can find and follow me. I've got Instagram, I got Twitter that I don't use at all. I got Twitch that I do use more often and uh, will sometimes play games on or do other weird things on, you know? And uh, I got my figure Instagram. Lots of figures. Lots of cool stuff. And I think that's it. I appreciate you again for sticking to the end of the video. I hope you had a great rest of your last week and I do hope you have a great rest of your next week. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!